Yep. What's up guys? Clutch number four in the box. Uh, this female, this is Fluffy. She's a normal het albino. Uh, she passed a slug two days ago and so we knew she was getting close. Uh, unfortunately, that was not the end of the slugs. I can see maybe three or four more and possibly two good eggs. So she looks fired up. She does not look like she wants to share. I don't know how this is gonna go, so let's just let it rip. <clears throat> yep, I see two eggs that look viable, and at least four slugs. Gotta get a box ready to put her in. She. Da, 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 da. She's not wrapped really well, which is good. She gotta, if I can just grab her and get her off of her, I'll be in good shape. <clears throat> Make sure she's empty. It doesn't look like it. Mm. She's look kind of cave. The problem is that when they pass slugs, they uh. They typically don't look. I don't know. She looks like she's got a bulge in her tail. No, she's hollow down by her tail. Okay. For sure. When you pulled her out, it looked like a big. Yeah, bubble. She, see how she looks sunken in right here? Yeah. Um, no, but I'm talking about like right at the end. She looked. No, like I can she feel that she's hollow. So she is definitely done. Uh, what happens is, if you notice with the smaller females, they looked really. Uh, Come on, girl. Uh, the smaller females look super sunken in uh, because they're they're giving up a lot of nutrients for the eggs. Um, but with the bigger female, the fact that she's bigger and the fact that she passed slugs means that she really didn't give up a whole lot of body weight for these eggs unfortunately this one's rolling around so we definitely got a candle i mean we're going to candle them anyways uh so this is one slug super soft that's weird where is buzz is totally bizarre it looks like a beanbag <laughs> this one looks kind of normal a little calcified and then we got these two that are kind of goopy and stuck together and make sure that this comes off this egg nice and clean that is perfect Okay, so two good eggs. How far are we into the video? Three minutes. Three minutes? Okay. So there we go. Four bad plus the one from the other day. Um, so that's five slugs, two good eggs. Daddy. That's, oh, you want to see? Look, buddy. These are bad eggs. These aren't any good. Good? They're not going to make babies. These are broken. This is broken. Yeah, but we got some good ones. Look, we're just gonna take these and throw them away. Did I pick me up and show them? Look, come here, come here. Two good ones. What is that? It's an egg. From what? It's a big egg. For who? What's gonna be in there? Big. What's gonna be in there? What's it gonna grow? Grow. It's gonna grow some baby snakes? Yeah. Awesome, all right, well. Big and strong. Big Who's and big strong. and strong? Sweet. My favorite. Oh, you already got mixed. Yep, already got mixed, ready to go. Incubator smelling a little bit. I'm thinking that, that egg's bad. Egg from question number one is probably still turning. I checked it the other, looked at it the other day, and it did not look like it was improving. So I think we're just going to chuck it. And this, we're going to add a little more water in because I forgot to put press and seal before I put it in the incubator to store it and if you don't put press and seal then that moisture just comes right out and increase the moisture in the incubator hey don't play with that do you have your phone yeah uh, it's right here <coughs> <coughs> No, sir. No, no, sir. We're, we're doing something, buddy. 
We gotta check the eggs and make sure there's babies inside. Baby inside? Yeah, watch. You can go play with your iPad. Can't you show us your wish? I don't see any veins really. No, I see some veins. They're very faint. Oh, wait. I just seen a dark spot on this side. Why don't we? Oh, right here. Huh? I think. Uh, I'm here. Yeah, right there. Yep, I see it. Okay. And they're, they're, they're not super strong like some of the other ones we've seen, but they do have, it does have good veins. Uh, okay. I see you. Oh, baby. All right, and another one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Good veins. Oh, yeah, that one has a lot. Oh, I think that's it right there. I've seen something jiggle. Other side. See this big bubble here? Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Still <coughs> learning. Might get a couple of these wrong, but what does what does it hurt if you? Uh, it off? can drown the embryo if you don't have the. Uh, let me check one more time. Just go around one more time, see if I don't see anything more obvious. I mean, that's where the veins are uh, clustered. I see together. something up. What is that up here? What's that? Oh, that's just calcification. If you look at the egg, oh, okay. see it's a different color there. So you'll see imperfections in the shell. Hold on, buddy, don't touch that. So this is where all the, this is where all the veins are grouped together. And I can't really make out a definite embryo, but I'm just gonna put that side up. So uh, I've heard research, I've read research about um, the fact that you could, that they did a study and they put the embryos all up and they did the same number of eggs and they put all the embryos straight down and they actually had uh, similar results and for whatever reason their study showed that the embryos that they put in, put facing down actually grew larger snakes but it was only one study so I'm not going by that uh, the industry standard is find the embryo, put it facing up. And that is, you know, to keep the embryo from drowning or being crushed and not being able to develop by the pressure of the rest of the yolk in the egg. Um, uh, this tends to have the best results and that's what everybody does. So that's what we're gonna do. Keep it simple, works, I'll screw with it. All right, so this is done. Press and seal in the incubator. I didn't finish telling you, this is a, uh, Head albino female to my candy inchy male who is just hanging out, not doing anything. I'm going to pull them out and show you. So this is the daddy to these two eggs. Um, uh, so he's candy, she's head albino. These would be either het candy, het candy inchy, or candinos, or candino inchies. And a candino is. Uh, like a mix between this and an albino. Very neat. So, this is Butters, and the mommy was fluffy. And yeah, she's not happy. Not happy, but we're gonna get her cleaned up, put all this stuff in the incubator, and that's it. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.